I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and today I'm going to be showing you how to fit Lustralite panel. Now we're working today on a live building site so there's a few bangs and bumps and loud voices going on next door. We can't stop that but basically I'm going to take you through the basics of how to fit this panel. Lustralite can be used in showers and it can also be used in bathrooms and kitchens and it's taking over from tiling. It gives the same appearance as high gloss glass finish but unlike glass you don't have to template the whole thing out and send that away to be cut up. This panel can be shaped, drilled, sawn and cut on site and the manufacturers say that it's more scratch resistant than glass due to the very hard coating that they put on it. Now if you're cutting lustralite panel then the best way to cut it is with a circular saw rather than a jigsaw because if you use a jigsaw on long cuts the blade heats up and it tends to weld the panel back together again so you achieve nothing. With a circular saw the best type is on a guide rail, a plunge saw because you get a lovely straight cut. This panel actually comes in shower size panels like this, but also in kitchen splashback sizes. So you may not even need to cut it at all. But we're gonna cut this panel, and the first thing you've gotta know is which side to cut. If you're using a circular saw, you have to cut with the color side, which is where the color is welded onto the back of the acrylic, on the upper face, so that you're cutting into that colored side and you don't get a breakout on the nice face. So I'm gonna flip this panel over now before I begin cutting. Now it's important that you don't cut too fast. If you can use the saw at a slow speed, that saves overheating the blade because what that does is it tends to melt the swarf into a ball. The reason that I've drilled all four corners of this socket aperture is because that takes the stress off the material if you've got a rounded corner. It's a bit like the old Comet aircraft if you remember that. Square windows, no good. When it comes to finishing the edges, you can use an edge trim around the whole thing, but we're gonna leave the edges naked if you like, but they've been cut with a saw, and they're not too bad, but they just need a little bit of smoothing off. You can use anything, I'm just gonna use this. You can actually plane them, but they don't need that much attention. All they need is a little scrape off with the edge of this steel scraper. And then there's a sanding pad provided in the installation kit, and we'll just give it a quick rub up along the edge with that and it'll be perfectly smooth. So there we are, that's the Lustralite panel finished and I'm pretty pleased with it. It turned out to be a nice little job. The main thing to remember is those expansion gaps. You must leave that four millimeter at each joint for it to move. And the customer's pretty happy with it, which is the main thing. Thanks very much for watching 
And don't forget to come back to Skill Builder soon and subscribe to the channel because we've got lots more coming up in the near future.